So today we're going to show you how you can upload large files to an FTP server from an ESP32 board. We're using the Rover kit module here and a micro SD card. And you'll be able to upload to your FTP server. We're using MP4s and image files just to demonstrate any file format is valid. So here we've got our SD root on the right hand side and we've already formatted our SD card as FAT32 and copied these files onto it and popped that into our ESP32. We've also got our FileZilla server set up as shown in the link in the top right with a user account linked to the directory shown at the bottom. So we have our sketch which is available for download, a link in the description. And we've added the SD, MMC and SPI libraries, which are part of the ESP32 core. Just so we can get at the files on our SD card. So initially we're just going to need to run begin on the SD card to make sure that we've set it up. And you can print out further information such as the size once it's initialized. One thing to note is we've changed the FTP client um, initialization to make sure that the debug is turned off so there's no extra serial prints when we're doing file transfers and it's just to keep things as fast as possible and we've then connected to the FTP server and gone to the my new directory directory and we've written or wrapped a new method to send a big binary file so the binary files are all files that aren't ASCII files so in FTP this is. So if you can't read the whole file in Notepad then basically just use the type I which is binary mode. So we'll go and have a look at our new method. So as we can see this initializes the file as a type I transfer and creates the new file on the FTP server and then it adds in the forward slash because it's on the root of the SD card so that we can initialize the same file from there and then this is the part that allows large files to work where we will create our own buffer and then fill that buffer with data from the file and then we'll write that data out to the FTP connection and we'll keep doing this while there's file data available from the SD card and we'll simply close the file on the FTP server and then on the SD card so this makes it quite simple for us to just now specify the files to upload as shown here. So if we build and upload this onto our board which has already got the SD card with the files on inserted then we'll be able to see this in action. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and please do check out the other videos on our channel related to this one and everything Arduino. So the code's just uploading to the board and we can open the serial monitor and we can see it's initialized and started transferring the file already. So if we go over to our FTP server we can see that uh, one file has already been transferred and it's now working on the next image file. And as we can see that's completed and it's recognized as an image correctly so the transfer process has worked. And again the next image has just appeared. So as you can see this is quite fast at over 200 kilobits a second which is reasonable for such a small device. And of course, if you are uploading much larger files as we are here, this is a video that's about 10 megabytes, then you'll need to consider this in your sketch because it takes uh, quite a long time to upload. And we'll show the detail of the upload times at the end of this video. And just to prove this works, we'll open it once it's finished uploading. So there we go, one's finished and it started on the next one as well. So here's a video of some electroplating we've been doing. So just to prove the FTP works and the, the video file is fully intact. So we'll leave, leave the last one to finish transferring. Of course this will take a while because it's a much larger file. So here it is completing. And again, we'll just open that to validate that all 30 odd megabytes of file have been transferred successfully and we haven't lost any of the formatting.
as part of the transfer. So there we go. So any file you want to transfer to your FTP server from your SD card or from your ASP32, you can just simply transfer in this way. And it's quite simple and quite quick. And just to show the upload timings which we've got from the FTP server, we can see how quickly the files uploaded and how many seconds it took. And as you can see, our 33 megabyte file took just over two minutes to transfer. So do watch out if you are transferring large files from your embedded devices as to how long they'll take and any other actions you need to perform.